Welcome to episode 16 of the Beginner's Guide to One Piece. The Revolutionary Army Explained. Before I can explain what the Revolutionary Army is, I need to explain the difference between a revolutionary and a pirate. Pirates are criminals that sail the seas and break various laws set by the world government. While they are going against the world government, they are aren't going directly against them. A revolutionary, who is a member of the Revolutionary Army, is directly attacking the government. They are directly going against the government, and that, and they're doing it to go against the government. The leader of the Revolutionary Army, Monkey D. Dragon, is said to be the most wanted man in the world be because of the fact that he is apparently incredibly dangerous and is attacking the world government directly. Little is known about the Revolutionary Army so far in the theory. What we do know is that their movement is a threat to the stability of the world and that they aim to oppose the world government as well as what it stands for. And would also seem that they are quite knowledgeable and well aware that it will, of the fact that it was Monkey D. Luffy who actually brought down Crocodile in Alabasta and not Vice Admiral Smoker. And that Vice Admiral Garp, Luffy's grandfather, the forward revealed to the public, of course. The Revolutionary Army base is, in the, is located in the Grand Line on the island of Baltigo, a windy island with snow, with snow-like soil and a rocky, and a rocky landscape. The forward revealed to the world in some of the most recent chapters of the manga. Now, I do want to talk about the location of Baltigo. Baltigo appears to be located very close to Drestrosa because Burgess just happened to wind up there. So we know for a fact that it's not just in the Grand Line, but we know for a fact that it is in the New World. The Revolutionary Army appears to have very powerful members. The second in command of the Revolutionary Army, Chief of Staff, Sabo, brother of the main character, Monkey D. Luffy, was able to take out the third division commander of the Blackbeard Pirate, Jesus Burgess, with, with one attack. He also did, was able to hold his own against an admiral of the Navy, Fujitora, or Isho. This is a big deal, because this, you, what we are seeing here is that the second in command of the Revolutionary Army can hold, can hold his own against an admiral and defeat uh, the divi a division commander of one of Blackbeard, cr of Blackbeard crew. That is a big deal, because this is something the Straw Hat can't do at the moment. It, these are really big things, and this is only the second in command. So this only goes further to demonstrate how powerful the leader, Dragon, must be. Also, during the war, Ivanka, the war the best, of course, Ivanka was able to save Luffy multiple times with his, or her, uh, hormone. So he can use a certain type of hormone that actually was able to rearrange Luffy's organs. The Revolutionary Army had many members with unique abilities and skills, unlike the world government, and appeared to be very powerful. But guys, I, in this video, I went over the, what the Revolutionary Army is, what their goals are, and just talk a little bit about them. I hope you enjoyed this little informative video on the Revolutionary Army. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, and please comment your thoughts in the comment section down below. Remember, above all else, to have a great day. It's a One Piece Nation, signing out.